Hi, it's Andrew from Stack. I've got a quick video here just on how to adjust the, the mounting hole location on the resistance unit. So as you'll notice, um, there's the two different holes, and we included both of these just to give you options for how to space out the resistance unit to make sure you get the right, uh, the right orientation with your bike. Um, there's a fair amount of adjustability that's actually built into these bolts, so if you loosen them, uh, you can slide up and down easily. Um, but if your wheel is outside the range of those, uh, as some wheels will be, then you may need to actually swap the holes the uh, resistance unit bolt, <clears throat> bolts into. So in order to do this, um, we've got our quick release here. And this is just on a normal thread, so you can tighten it and loosen it, uh, which I'm not going to do quite yet. And above here, I've already set this up because I've only got one hand available uh, while I'm videoing it. but. What I wanted to do was make sure that the magnets aren't going to accidentally snap together. Uh, the most important thing is just to make sure that your fingers are safe, so never put your fingers in between the magnets because they can come together with a lot of force. With the normal resistance unit, we've got a safety built into that just so it doesn't happen, but once you disconnect the quick release, um, they're at a bit more risk of that happening. So I've taken one of the wheel weights and I just put some elastic bands, and the magnets themselves actually want to pull in slightly. There's a small amount of interaction. They're about an inch apart right now. Um, so they want to uh, slightly pull in, and the weight being there just prevents them from getting stuck together. So now that I've got this in place, um, I'll just loosen the quick release and let this kind of flop over to one side. And you can just uh, unthread this, just a, like a normal bolt. Uh, and this is quite challenging to do with one hand, so sorry if the camera gets shaky. Uh, and then once it's out, you'll want to make sure there's a washer on the end. You'll want to make sure you don't lose that washer. Uh, and this washer is just to help uh, with how it mounts in um, and gives it the proper feel with the quick release. All right, so I can feel this coming loose now. And I'll just flip it over. And on the end there, there's just a small washer that uh, that's free now. Uh, and because of the way the weight was held in there, it's not going to accidentally snap together. So you want to make sure that you, when you thread this back in, you keep the washer in place. Uh, so it helps pushing the quick release through all the way. And then um, moving back over here, we'll want to install it on the lower bolt hole. So again, I'll see if I can do this with one hand. This is a lot tougher than it, uh, it looks. Um, so you want to make sure, I'll just explain what's going on. So once you get it lined up there, um, you're just going to start and rotate the, uh, the resistance unit the same way you did before to unthread it. And you'll get it into a nice comfortable depth. You'll want to make sure that, um, I actually lost the washer here as I was flipping it over. You can see it's no longer in place. But you'll want to make sure that that stays in place and it just helps the feel of the quick release as it comes down. And once it's back in place, uh, you can remove the, the spacer, which, uh, as I said, we used a weight just because it's something we know you'll have available, and a couple elastic bands to hold it in place. Uh, and you can pull that apart, and you'll have your trainer set up with the, the different wheel spacing, um, and then that will give you more adjustability range. So if you do need more range outside of what this provides, um, moving it up and down within the slot should allow you to get any wheel size um, from between... Uh, a 29er wheel, which is about the biggest you see, down to a 26-inch uh, a mountain bike tire. Uh, if there's any questions, feel, please feel free to email us.